Hello everyone. Um, today I'm trying to show you the the newest beta of our uh, management software interface for the DVL system. Um, the system, the software I'm installed on my uh, Windows Vista, 32-bit. So let's get started. So when I click the icon, it has the login screen for the software itself. Um, the, the software platform for the DVR system basically has two parts. This is the client's interface, which you can install on any PC. Um, as it has a network connection requirement to our server. And the server also can set up on the customer end, which is running on the Linux. Okay, so we have a demo here. So it has a username. A password, a language currently only support English and Chinese at this moment. Um, we have a server address, which is I am connecting the server not in this location. This is the server host in um, city government in China, so it was connect to the, the server end. And also, we have a port number here. So let me get. The, type in the password and then try to log in probably take a little while while it's connecting on the remote location at this moment okay um, it's coming up now as you see um, it's a pretty easy to use interface uh, it's by default it's come up with the quad speed images and on the right hand side you got a panel to display different vehicle that you can build um, your own to have the number plate on it to have a group on this so you can know which division they're in charge of different vehicle and under v different vehicle you, you can see there was different camera as well so it has a if you right click the group you can also sort by the um, different option you can sort by the device name you can sort by the number plate or you can sort by the uh, online status so right now I'm sorting my status on the online so as you see the first icon was has a color the other was gray which mean the first one actually being online so if I drill down the menu it show me that if there was four camera currently was connected to that DVL system so if I click individually you know, if I click this one, it will connecting to the camera images like this one to show you. But the software itself was come with a pretty flexible interface that you can have the zoom in like the full screen on the particular images. Okay, can have cost speed here. If I click this camera, like I said, click the this button, it should bring up on a full screen. Okay, hold on a second. Let me try to reconnect again. Okay, with this and go cost speed. It also has different selection like 6 bit, X bit, so different number. The multiple you can do maximum you can do 36 camera in the same interface. Okay. Also there was a playback function. If you click on this, you can search the specific DVR or the specific vehicle. Um, you can have put it put down the day range. For example, I put down from February to this month, the whole month. How many? How many um, video being recorded? It's showing has free video being recorded section. So if I play back on each one, it was showing this camera here, they're showing the playback movie 
the playback images or I can drag individual section to a different screen for example here or this one if I drag on this it was showing up so if you have different multiple um, record section you can drag to different multiple screen so you can see what happened on the on the um, on a specific time slot um, also it has the feature called um, alarm the alarm is basically like a tracking function if you can see the tracking on the map when the bus or the vehicle was moving and at the same time when the accident was happening so the but at this moment the demo is not connected on the real vehicle is connected to the, to the office so we wouldn't have able to see on the map and they moving the map itself was supporting on the Google map so so in US and Canada we will also see the map as well without any problem so also we have different feature here like a data query we can type in our day range to check on different alert from the DVL because on the DVL the device itself we can customize different alert function um, for example if uh, the DVL would have a shock detection for example the car got an accident and the DVL was detected was a car accident it was sending a report it was sending an alert to this console here so this console you can have more information not just looking the video checking back the status but you can also the viewing their the GPS tracking the map location and also you can see in the compare at the same time you can check like what happened on the accident period of time so also it has support a police information call it's actually like a is it's just like a menu tab you can put on different police enforcement team on your map location and when your bus or the vehicle has a problem when they call you when they call the service center they can the people the operator can tell them which is the closest station or the closest enforcement team they can reach to um, it doesn't have to be police it, it can be it can be different thing um, it's just making an example here um, so basically um, this is the quick demo um, like I said the this is um, um, uh, still on a beta status of the software so you see there was some of the translation hasn't fully done yet some of the part was still showing some Chinese and during the images of the camera itself you see this is some um, wording it just meaning the um, the DVL customize on the on the number play on the vehicle on the longitude and latitude but um, this part is already done by the English but unfortunately the demo they're running like I said it was using the Chinese so you only see the Chinese at this moment um, so if you have any question let me know um, we will happy to answer you um, the software will release um, come with the DVR um, by end of the month um, that's it okay thank you